Hey everyone, Karsh Investor here, back with another video for you today. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Slack and why ARK Invest invested heavily into that company. It's actually in two of their ETFs. It's in the ARKK one and in the ARKW. In both ETFs, Slack is in their top 10. Overall, they have over 16 million shares invested in Slack. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to go a bit deeper into the company as well and try to understand why they feel Slack is such a great investment, besides the point that this is one of the only work at home stocks that haven't really moved overall this year. I actually bought some Slack stock today, just a small portion. We're going to go over the graph as well. But before I do so, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, we're finally over 5,000 subscribers. So thank you everyone that has subscribed to this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet and want to help me reach the next milestone, hit that subscribe button. And if you like these videos, leave it an early thumbs up as it really helps me outgrow the channel and get my videos out there. So without further ado, let's look at the graphs. All right, so looking at Slack right now, as you can see, it's a pretty good, pretty nice roller coaster. If you look at the graphs, it went all the way back up to $35 around two months or so ago. Then we went all the way back down to the support line at $24, $25. Tried to go back up, then suddenly market crashed all the way down to the support line again at $25. Little jump back up failed going back down now the pre-market says that we're at 25.99 basically it's going to open a bit in the green at 26 dollars because as you know yesterday there was news coming out of a possible vaccine coming out pretty soon and then suddenly the whole market thinks that work from home stocks those high-tech stocks will stop functioning moving forward stocks like DocuSign, Etsy and many many more have suddenly plunged which makes totally no sense to me. So this is one of these great opportunities to buy good stock for a cheaper price because of a market overreaction. Now, if some of you don't know what Slack is, in short, Slack is basically a business communication platform that enables and facilitates communications throughout the whole company and eliminates the need to send out needless emails. Now, last time Slack reported daily active users was at around about 12 million since then they haven't reported any numbers anymore but also since then it got crushed by microsoft teams they reported more than 75 million daily active users now obviously with microsoft it's easier for them to reach those numbers because of the office 365 ecosystem but going back to slack there's something that slack has been working on for a while called slack connect which lets you collaborate with up to 20 organizations now with what does that mean it's basically you are an organization, you're working with an outside, let's say, organization for designers, developers, etc. Usually what you're doing is sending out emails, endless emails, etc. Information goes just from one person to the other. Maybe you add a CC to somebody else. But now Slack lets you create channels for both organizations together, which makes the process so much faster. Slack also enables you to integrate with countless of outside apps such as MailChimp, Trello, Zoom, Google Suite, and many many more now what does the, all of that show us is well for me and also for people from ARK Invest basically came to the same conclusion is that Slack is trying to build that enterprise social network instead of integrating vertically Slack has gone fully horizontally right so now let's go and look at ARK's position in Slack in those two ETFs all right so first up we have RKK basically it's the number nine with 12.9 million shares held, a market value of just over $330 million. Obviously the number one is Tesla, number two Invite, three is Square, Roku is their number four, which is going to be actually my next video. So stay tuned for that. But overall, as you can see, even in their most famous ETF, they have Slack in their top 10. Now let's go and look at the other ETF, which is ARKW. Again, Tesla number one, Roku actually is their number two in that ETF, surpasses Square, and Slack in there is their number seven with 3.5 million shares worth $90 million in market value. Now we can also see here when ARK has been buying heavily into Slack. So they began buying 4 million shares from April till July, 4 million shares purchased right there, and then another 9 million shares purchased from July till October, so you can see that lately they've been buying a lot, a lot of Slack stock. All right, so after seeing all of that, there must be a solid reason why ARK believes so much into Slack. 
So let's look at the financial numbers that were reported in September. All right, so they reported revenue of $215 million, up 49%. They've added 8,000 new paid customers. Again, those new paid customers is just not one person. It's a new company, a new organization. They have over 130,000 paid customers, a 30% year over year growth, and they have 87 paid customers with greater than $1 million in annual recurring revenue, up 49 year over year. But something you need to know is that, let's say you as a company start with 100 employees with Slack, the more you grow, the more revenue Slack will generate from your company because some of you know, you pay per user that uses Slack in your organization. So every user, every employee you add to your company because you're growing faster, Slack is obviously getting more and more money from that company. All right, so to conclude, I'll try to make sense of everything that we've found out recently and that I found out personally. Basically, obviously Slack is not going to be one of those companies that suddenly has billions of dollars in revenue each and every quarter. Maybe in a couple of years time, that will happen. Again, I still have some doubts about this company going forward, but the fact that ARK Invest invested so much into that company means that they probably know something from the inside or whatnot that we currently do not know. Hopefully they'll tell us a bit more in the next newsletter or maybe their next live stream. I'm gonna look out for that. But overall, I still believe Slack could be one of those companies that gets bought out by an Amazon, a Microsoft, or maybe another company, I don't know, because it's still a small company with so much potential, so many integrations into that company. It really has endless solutions to that company, whether it's leisure travel, communications, productivity, platform support, development, cloud storage, everything can be done via the Slack app. And that's something that's very, very special. That's why I said Slack is fully horizontally and not vertically like Microsoft. So yes, to end this video, I invested a small position into Slack. I will keep that position as small as possible. Maybe I'll add if there is a big dip moving forward, because as you know, now with the vaccine news, every work from home stock has been going down because while well, people think there's a vaccine, suddenly those companies will stop functioning because people don't like innovation anymore. Makes no sense. That's why I'm looking to buy stocks like Etsy, DocuSign, and obviously more Slack stock if it dips even more. That will be it for this video. If you liked it, consider leaving a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.